Well, good day, tubes. How's she hanging? Pretty good here and stiff. She's a cool, crisp day again here, of course. And uh, yeah, <laughs> cool, crisp, cold. Not really wicked cold, but cold a frick enough, let me tell you. Cold enough the snow's not melting that we've got a little bit on the ground. But I haven't actually had to been out to plow yet at all, or sweep or brush or anything, so. That's kind of nice, I don't mind. But uh, anyways, uh, we got a little package again today in the mail. And it's either my new camera or my lock pick kit. I don't know which one it is yet. So let's go inside and find out. Got some tree guys here today, they've been coming in off and on for a couple weeks here now, roughly, roughly a couple weeks, and uh, taking down some, some of the older trees that are kind of rottenaged. Stuff that I can't kind of really do because it's too close to monuments or whatever. So it looks like he's looking at, uh, oh, he's got the big fella out there. Looks like he's looking at uh, what to take down next. Can't tell what saw that is, but it's uh, probably a 660. The bigger guy. Now, what's he doing here? Does he already have a cut done? Ooh. It's weird. I can see him. I hear what I can hear the noise coming from the right. Oh, there's a couple of trees out here that are getting pretty rotten. A little dangerous. So, these guys actually came in and did, did a, a survey for us or an inventory survey kind of thing. They looked at all the trees and decided by themselves which ones needed to come out. I think it's a scam, but anyways, it's probably a good thing to get them done. Um, oh, he's gonna be through that in no time. Oh, there's a hollow, hollow spot in the center of that one. It's a big chunk he's working on there. Where's the rope going? Probably down to a guy on the ground or something. Now these guys do full forestation stuff too, this company. They have like on farm sim, like the big log machines. A while back ago there, I was out just for a tour one day and I found these guys on a, on a road not too far from here and they they were, uh, they had logs on his truck thingy there that he came out of the bush with and he piled them into the big pile, if you remember that. Same, same guys. Anyway, so that's the uh, fourth tree I think they've taken down here now. Almost see if I can see the other side of the case. What saw that is? What is he doing? He's going that way. That's weird. I don't know these guys are really good though, really good. But anyways, let's go see uh, what we got here today. Indie mail. Oh, and if you're wondering too, no mice last night. <laughs> Still in the same spot. Nobody, nobody came. Maybe the maybe the poison's starting to work, and there's maybe not many of them left. I don't know. All right, let's crack this open. I, it's heavy, so I don't think it's a, a lock pick kit. It's almost the right size for a camera, Sony camera. Uh, I think that's what it is. <clears throat> Edge crush test, 29 pounds. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> So, of course, it's not marked on the outside uh, what it is. Just who it's from. Markham, Ontario. This is probably... Probably... A Sony camera jammed into the box. <coughs> That's a heck of a way to ship that. <coughs> That's all that was in there. These pillow thingies. And uh, just kind of jammed in, so... New camera! The old camera run now. Um, um, I don't know if this is going to work. The old camera run now. Frickin' light! <laughs> Not going to work. Anyways. The old, uh, what one was this? HDR PJ540 Sony Handycam. 
It's been pretty good, but uh, in the last little while it's screwed up a bit and had these buffer overload something or another is trying to recover data <clears throat> and it just wasn't working so shipping and handling five shipping and handling five dollars that should be freaking free you'd think for a twelve hundred fifty dollar camera yes that was twelve hundred fifty dollars for this now this is hopefully not broken uh, Sony FDR AX 53. They have a 33 too, and I went with a few bucks more to get a one that was a little better. It's freaking heavy though. Holy crap! <clears throat> so let's uh, get you in a little maybe better spot here. Okay, so contents of this package should be pretty good. Uh, normally. Just to let you know, normally when I buy cameras or something, I just go to which was Future Shop at one time, now it's Best Buy. They have pretty much in-store stuff, pretty much nothing. I'm like, wow, really? I even went to Henry's Cameras, which is like a real nice camera store. And they had like two of these models. Um, one or two of these lower-end kind of stuff, like not a nicer sort of one like this. This is, of course, a 4K. Uh, nice camera. Now it's got a Zesis Carl Vesario Zesis or whatever it is thingy called on it. I'm not crazy super super about that. Hopefully it's all right. Uh, lens. Uh, I like the Sony G lens better, but uh, this I'm gonna try it again. Um, but yeah, Henry's camera had like nothing. I'm like, whoa, that's not good. I'm like, what's going on? Why don't they're all they're not making them anymore. People just kind of use like the GoPros and stuff. I'm like, yeah, really? Okay. GoPros are good, but sometimes they're not so good. So this one I had to order online. I had to go through the Sony uh, website to another place that was sort of locally-ish down well, Markham, Ontario, for to pick it up uh, to, to order it. So there's your digital 4K camera recorder, French. I don't know, I don't read French, so... Yeah, uh, yeah. <coughs> so... I'm pretty sure that everything will be different with these. I doubt the, the battery's the same. The, you know, it's gonna probably be stupid now, but... There's a charge cord. There's a USB to... I can't remember that end. Uh, there's a USB to... That end. There's a... There's the charge cord thing, that pretty much kind of all looks the same. Hopefully everything's the same on the battery here. This, I mean, you spend that much money on a battery, they give you one stupid, cheesy little battery. Actually, this one's not bad, it's a little bit bigger. This is, uh, F, uh, it should actually work with uh, them all, that's good. This is a NPFV70 battery, I think it's a 50 that they normally send with them, so. That's good. That actually looks pretty darn identical. I think that'll work with any of my cameras, so that's good. Okay, so... I guess the creme to the creme is coming out next. Wow, this thing is freaking huge. I thought my last one here that we're shooting with now was huge. This thing's massive. Holy crap. <laughs> um... Well then, let's just see if there's any juice in this battery. Slide and snap. Oh, I'm gonna have to go through all the settings. And... Oh, she may not have any juice. Mmm. not have any juice. There's your HDMI out. Uh, one thing this one doesn't have, which is probably fine, is the projection. This camera we're on now has a projector in the little flip lens thingy on the front here, and it projects onto the wall. It's actually pretty good. I never really use it that much, but oh, there's even a Dewey there for your... That's old. Why would they even put that on there? I guess if your battery's getting low, you can just use that. Wow, this thing is freaking huge. 
That's probably for a hot shoe thing or something. Oh, there it is, yeah. Feels like you break it when you take it off. Yeah, so this thing needs a charge. It has a manual focus, and then you can adjust this ring too, apparently, here. Um, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna charge it. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, I thought this one was supposed to have the USB thing on it too. I guess it don't. It do, it didn't. Okay, well. There's a, you can plug in your Dewey there or multi or something or another. Uh, I haven't figured out where, oh, there's the SD card there. It looks like a full SD card, not the stupid micros anymore. I hate those micros. Oh man, they're just like way too small. Okay, so where is, oh, there, DC in. Okay, so I'm going to juice this for a little bit here. And, uh, <clears throat> See if can get some charge in there and bring her to life. Alrighty, that's juicing. She's juicing. So while we're waiting for that, we got a Mega Smasher here to look at too. We might as well uh, see what's in the Mega Smasher. Mega Smasher, she's pretty thick today. Lots of good junk, I guess. Um, what do we got here to start with? You dual air hose and electric cord. Well, yeah, I think I did look at those before. That's kind of cool, kind of neat, but holy cow. Ooh, sorry, regular price, 300 bucks. That's still enough, really. Eh, I'm all right. It'd be nice to come and eliminate one thing, but then you got what, two bigger things though, right? Oh, this is a real big Dewey. Holy, multi-fold out. What do we got here? Smart TIG. Hmm, no. I like to try TIG, but I don't think I want to own one. If you did a lot of small -y kind of stuff, stuff like that, me, maybe, but nah. I'm good for that. All right, so Mega Smasher. Oh, <coughs> air compressor. I think mine's different than that though. Mine's, yeah, mine's the uh, dual cylinder. That one's a twin. I think mine's still more CFM. That's only a 14. 14 CFM. Hmm. Coleman Trail Bike. Dylan would probably just love that. Even though he's got other ones, he never even ride anymore, hardly. He didn't go at all hardly this summer. I don't know why, but. That's kind of cool. 200 pound capacity. <laughs> Jeez. <clears throat> Sorry, I didn't shoot that for you there. Kind of cool. Coleman, really? Like like the camp people, really? Wow. <clears throat> what else we got here? Well, steam cleaner. Some tires. Infrared thermometer, what? Oh, I think that's just a temperature gauge thing gotten there. Yeah. Part storage cabinet? That's all right. Mm, connecting your butts together. <laughs> oh, winter toques and gloves and stuff. No, I don't want that at all. Cast iron farm bell. Huh. Well then, I think I'm good for those too. Well, I'm not good for them, but I don't need one. <laughs> oh, wood splitters. I got a wood splitter now I haven't hardly used. I haven't really needed to split wood, I guess, so good while I needed it, but you know, it sat there for, it's probably no good now, but who knows. The cylinder's been retracted, so as long as there's no moisture in it, it should be all right. I don't know. <clears throat> what in the crap is that? Wow. That's freaking cool. Holy. You want to blend in? There you go. Blend in. Meat processing. Oh, pardon me. Oh, <clears throat> I didn't sleep too good last night. 
Ooh, crossbows. That can't be a very good one. That price. TSC in town here sells them, and holy cow, they were 900 bucks. I thought, wow, that's a really stupid price and for a piece of junk, or it's actually maybe a half decent one. Tape and lights, guess we're good for that. Come on. Oh, leaf springs. I wish they would sell like heavier ones. I know they make them. Like a 4,000 pound, 5,000 pound spring. I would like to get some for my trailer out here, my big, big trailer. And uh, nobody around me sells them. You'd have to go to like a spring shop down in the city or something probably. So that was heaters, there's some trailer lights, tires, tire repair kits. Guess I'm good there. Receiver hitches. Ah. Mm. Receiver hitches. Mm. There too. Ramps, built my own, we're good there. Ramps, ramps, lights. No. I wonder if they show the bar lights in here. They're so expensive at Princess Auto. I have no idea why either. Come on. Towing ratchet straps. Guess I'm good for those for now. Generator cover. Ooh. Oh, no. You know what I need is a box. A locky box that I can put my big generator in and lock it beside my house. It's out of the weather and it's there when you need it, if you need it. But I don't have to worry about someone hawking it because it's just sitting out in the open. But, uh, anyways. It's alright. USB chargers. They have these now, you just plug into the wall. Oh, and it gives you a uh, regular plug and then the two USB guys above there. I just thought that was kind of cool. You can do that for $15, actually it's $8.88 now. Or you can get an actual socket that you take your plug out of your wall, put this one in and it was like 45 bucks. I'm like, holy, I'm good. <laughs> Bluetooth speaker. Little mini helicopters. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Fingers are not working today. Wow, there's a steel camp stove with a huge freaking exhaust pipe on her. That's kind of craziness. The wee tiny guy is cute though. <laughs> hey wee baby. Oh, no, I'm skipping pages. Oh, chargers. Yeah, I think I've done a got a pretty good charger right now. I thinking engine gantry crane. Nah, I ain't got room for stuff like that. I'd love to put in a vehicle lift, but nah, I ain't got room for that. There's a cable hoist. I don't think so. Little tooly things, small tools and stuff. Metal detectors, thermal imager, that's what I was wanting to look at. Wow, we maybe not. Holy, this will show you like if you point it in a thing where uh, heat's being lost and stuff in your roof or stuff, you know. Man, even at the sale price, I'm like, yeah, no, 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 no. Don't know why they're so expensive, but. Uh, the way she is, I guess. I like these splitting wedges. I don't know if you've ever seen these before. They're like a ice cream cone shape kind of thing, but it's a solid hunk of metal. Eight pound of metal. <laughs> Splitting wood. Come on. I'm gonna have these pages so slobbed up. Ooh, professional PEX tubing cutter. I picked up one of those when I did the trailer. One like that. Die grinders, I've got one of them. Airbrush kit, I can't, can't 
can't paint with crap, so there's no point in me looking at that. Uh, what else have we got here? Ooh, step gel. Oh, more ice cream cone thingies. One thing I don't actually have is a step drill. I've never tried one before either. I should probably try one. Oh, little welders, plasma cutters, welding table. That's pretty cool. That'd be pretty handy. But I'm okay. I've got one. Somewhat of a setup here. Look at the crappy pencil butane torches that spit all crap all over you. Freaking crap. <laughs> I've got one and I didn't, wasn't happy with it. Well, I'm not seeing anything I need to pursue on. Save 50% on aluminum bars, angle rods, tubes, and channels. Whoa, where am I going? There, sorry. They actually make good wind chimes. If you like making wind chimes, I've made one of set ones there and it wasn't too bad. Gasoline generator with electric start. Wheel and battery kit included. 2800 watt. I'm still looking for a generator. They put me in a generator panel over at the office only because there's water down there for us, like runs to the house. And um, if the power goes out, I have power to run my house, but we still got no water. So, I mean, that's kind of useless. So they put out a generator pan in there for me, but they never bought me a generator or... I guess I gotta do that. Store another one that's got a 30 amp twist plug on it. Uh, yeah. So, uh, that that would be cool, except I hate more cords running around. Really like the cordless one I've got here. Just make sure you plug her in. And she's good. I got a smally one here. And it works pretty good. It's pretty bright. It's got a magnet on the back and stuff, so. But uh, just another cord to trip over and run around? No. I'm good. Well, oh, there's a light bar sort of thingy there. See, 90 bucks. Holy. That's ridiculous. Oh, they got the ramps on sale, too. I got a pair of them. Exactly. Nice. Well, I don't see anything I really need. Uh, I guess we're good. So just reading the manual thing, everything's pretty much the same-ish. You can use your smartphone as a wireless remote commander controlly, remote controlly kind of thing. I don't think I'll bother with it, but I mean, it's kind of kind of neat in a way, but uh, really if you can't reach to push the start button, then that's pretty lazy. <laughs> so, <clears throat> yeah. But uh, yeah, just reading through the book here, see if there's anything else I kind of need to know. Pretty much all straightforward so far. All right, well, she wasn't 100% fully charged. It's been on for like two hours, though. <laughs> I thought, well, we'll give her a shot, but I guess it's a fairly beefy battery. So this is the first opening of the new camera. Ooh. So. <clears throat> Might be easier if I zoom this one in a little bit. There we go. I can just push this out. It's definitely shiny in there. So we want English. <clears throat> oh, next. Uh, that's a good time zone for us. Set to the daylight savings. I don't really care about that. Uh, date, format, and time. I don't generally look at that either, so that's good. <clears throat> so date is January, February. Actually, it might be easier to go this way. November. 22nd, 2016. Uh, 3... 327. 327 p.m. My birthday. Yay! November 22nd, 1977. Blah, 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 it should be good. And we have no SD card in it, so that's, that's all right, though. 
Um, okay, now, boy oh boy, I'm gonna have to look through all this stuff. A lot. Movie, time lapse, capture, oh, sweet! Smooth, slow recording, golf shot, high speed record. It's not very clear for you guys, is it? There we go, sorry. Oop. So I guess we just selected movie. Camera mic. Oh man, there's a lot of stuff to look through here. <laughs> Steady shot, standard, uh, digital zoom. Turn that to 250 times, digital zoom. That's pretty freaking good. Uh, she loses focus there, of course, but... Uh, it's pretty zoomed in. <laughs> Dirty old pail. <clears throat> oh man, there's so much stuff on this. Night shot light is on. I don't know what it means for that. It's supposed to be pretty good for low light. Uh, smile, sensitivity, sure. There's no flash. My voice canceling. Built in zoom mic. That I don't have either. A wind. Zebra. No idea. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look at all that, I guess. Image size, that's just for pictures. Uh, record mode. Oh, sets quality of movies. 60 megabytes per second. I guess we'll leave it at that. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to look into that too because 100 would be better, but then it's also probably a lot huger file, right? Frame rate, we want to. No. Oh. No. Both. That's, I want it to be at 60 T frame rate. If we put that to there. Okay. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Frame rate. No. That's not what it was, so I'll put that back to there. Dual video record format. Now that might, whoop, that might be where I have to change it. Uh, eh, oh, probably should record it in 4K, but you know, you guys should tell me if you've got a 4K monitor or not, because there's no point in me really doing it in 4K if you can't even watch it 4K. Let's put it there for now, and then we'll go back. We'll go back in here. I want to put it to 60p. There we go. Now we're 60p. That just means more frames per second. 60 frames a second instead of 30. That's what gives it a nicer, more realistic -y kind of look. It's not so choppy choppy as a 30. Yes, that's all right. Three hours and 14 minutes. It wasn't even fully charged for the battery. Holy! That's awesome. 60p, VHD, image size. And we'll leave that there. Don't usually take picture pictures with this thing. It doesn't ask you if, what 1080p or 720p or I guess that's what that was there. Wireless, that'll be for your uh, remote control thing, do we? Edit copy, I'll put some setup here. This is like your SD card stuff. Counter. Wow. Yeah, now I don't have an SD card for this guy yet. It's a, I got one at the house, but. Hopefully I can get that all arranged up in the next video we shoot, we'll be hopefully using uh, this new camera. I guess that's that's about it. Now the only thing I'm concerned about is <coughs> the lens is right wide now. Uh, let me put you on a tripod here for a second. So when I'm recording like this, I kind of hold it 
kind of like here. Like you can see my arm, it's like way out now, so you get the big shot, but I'm like in quite a piece. The other um, Zesus lens, that lens I had, I didn't like it, it was an older camera, but I found I had to be like way back here to get a shot like this. It was stupid, so hopefully this one's going to be better. So we're going to just put you on the tripod. And you can look at me here. Oh, what did I press? Oh, no media. Go back to here. It screwed up. So yeah, this is this one's pretty good. Actually, I'm closer. I'm closer than with this camera, the other Sony. The other one, I'm, I'm about here, and I'm getting a full face shot, if you know what I mean. Um, this one is like, oh, it's like miles away. So that's that's pretty good. That's pretty close. That's the first time I've seen the lens on this one. So there you go. See that thing? It's got the steady shot. That's what that is. See how I'm moving the camera, but it's the lens is kind of like floating. This one does that too, and I didn't really like it much, but I'll have to get used to it, I guess. Wow, this is a lot bigger. <laughs> Insert memory card. So, 20 times optical zoom. I'll have to adjust my uh, thing here quite a bit too. I'm gonna get my fat fingers in here. So 20 times optical zoom. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this. You'll see it in the, the video. Oh no, I'm not recording with this one. Never mind. Ha! <laughs> Tricked you. So there's full zoom on the button things there. That's pretty good. And there's going into the digital zoom. There's full zoom. That's pretty good. On the center of that button thing. So that's pretty good. Now this thing, how does this work? Oh, it's just like home movies with mom and dad. It's like looking in a looking in a like a movie theater thing. <laughs> And that shuts her down. So there we go, 4K camera. That's pretty sweet. I think it'll be good. It's freaking big though. Like it's massive. Oh, I never tried the. I never tried manual. Manual zoom. I really don't know why you'd want that, like that, but. Okay, so that's just rotating this ring thing here. Focus, I want. So there, I just used the ring. So now we're focusing, so we should be able to zoom. See how it's not keeping focus now, so we should be able to... Just that zoom, I would have thought. Wow, it takes forever. <laughs> it really does a lot for you, this camera. You can see that 2.8 M going up. There we go, now we're getting better. So let's... That's pretty nice. Hopefully you can kind of see that. I can't tell if where you're looking, so. That's pretty good. I think I like that. Now, my question is, how does it work on macro zoom stuff? Let's see if we can get the camera set up to macro on it. Okay, let's see here. Let's 
trying to keep her in focus for you guys too, but it's just not kind of working for me. Well, it's going to be a learning curve anyways. Turn auto focus on here now and see. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It's not super tremendous, but this camera I think did better with the macro y kind of stuff. Unless there's a setting in here maybe I haven't seen yet. I don't know. Exposure, iris, shutter speed, man, lots of stuff to look through here. Holy crap. Anyways, there we go. First 4K camera. Pretty freaking sweet. <clears throat> I got to get an SD card. I know I've got one there, but I've been having little problems with my SD card reader in my computer, so I might have to figure out something else for that um, to be able to plug it into, like, the... Um, uh, USB 3 port there so it whips it off the card real fast um, that's what I use on the little guys it's just the little micros and I just have like a little card reader put that in a extension cable for a USB 3 just like pfft, done 13 gig 14 gigs done in like you know a minute and a half it's pretty awesome so uh, yeah but anyways there we go sweet well anyways you probably heard in the background this, this thing running here I uh, pulled off the caps on the top of the battery here that I've been trying to work on and it was kind of a little dry. I could see like the tops of the cells. I didn't think that was kind of too good. So I got her topped up, gave her a juice and seemed to be better. And now I'm doing that uh, repair. Come on now. Really? The repair circuit thingy. There we go. Doing that. So and you can see uh, that it brings the voltage up and then back down. And then back up and then back down. You can actually see the cells are like bubbling here a little bit, splashing a little bit, but so they all seem to be bubbling, so I guess that's a good thing. Woo! Come on! Really? So yeah, I'm just gonna let her do her thing, I guess, here. Hopefully it doesn't explode. <clears throat> but anyways, it should uh, hopefully bring her back to life. These caps aren't really kind of supposed to, I don't think, come off again. They were a little bit kind of difficult, but I mean, I got them off, but it uh, wasn't super great. So uh, I think last time I tried this, it uh, was flashing a little warning light here, and that means if it's so many flashes, that meant it was uh, unable to hold a charge or maintain a charge or something like that. See professional help, so I'm like, yeah, well, we'll look at her here first. But uh, yeah, so hopefully it kind of helps. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if it. Maybe they never filled it up right from new um, when we bought this bike. This is for the little. I think it's Dylan's 125. Um, but I guess eventually they will evaporate a little bit. You kind of wonder how when it's kind of sealed. And those are those caps were freaking tight. They were hard to get out. But um, I don't know. I have no idea. So do you know how to do the, uh, blow the lid off of these things, the pop off or plastic water bottles? <clears throat> There's a trick to it if you don't know it. So you gotta make sure you put your lid on, of course. What we're gonna do is fire this lid across the room. I think maybe I've showed you this guys before, but what you wanna do, it doesn't really, you don't have to really pull the label off, that won't really affect much, but you gotta pick a spot in your bottle. Usually there's like a divider -y line here. You can see how there's like a weird pattern thing. So right about there you want to squeeze and then squeeze up top here and try to crush it at that line with that high and uh, twist it and before you get it twisted too much squeeze the bottom a bit more to squeeze more air into the top and you get that trapped in there by squeezing it uh, okay so you got a lot of pressure here now now this is kind of crucial you have to do this real fast or it'll just go, and nothing will happen. So, um, ready, set, here we go. Holy shnikes, eh? 
Oh, I can slow mo that. That was pretty cool. You can do that multiple times if you can find your lid. There's my lid. And uh, just kind of expand her out again, and uh, we go with it. And that freaking lid will go 100 feet easy. Easy. And it's pretty awesome because there is no way, pardon me, you could grab a lid like that and throw it by hand and get it that far. If you got it a quarter of that way, I'd be surprised. But yeah, that'll easily go 75 to 100 feet anyway. So there you go. Fun, fun thing for the day. So there we go. We'll see if we get any friends tonight down here ready to go. I kind of doubt that. Uh, you never know. Who knows? So I probably should turn one one way the other way because I think what's going to happen is this one's going to, if you go through this one, it's going to trip, <laughs> probably land on that one. Um, hmm. I guess I could move one back a little more maybe. Maybe this one, that one there or something. That doesn't look too bad, so that's... Uh, be kind of neat. It was neat last night because I could watch. You know, I went in before I went to bed. I'm like, oh, caught nothing yet. Oh, well. So, yeah, there we go. So that is recording. And there's the recording light. So we should just double check. Go in here and hard disks. Yeah, so we start with uh, 998.57 gig. And then now we're down to 965 since last night. So... Not too bad. Not too bad. Well, there we go. So it sounds like they're still cutting that one big tree back there. They did the limbs on it the other day and then uh, finishing the big stuff now. So they're taking all the wood too. I don't need her, so. And it looks like this one that they were working on is down. Oh, this camera must be jealous. It doesn't want to focus. So yeah, there you go. She's down. Should be good to go. They'll come and shave those stumps out of there. There's a video on my channel of them guys doing that <coughs> way back. They have that remote control, <coughs> remote control stump grinder machine. It's pretty awesome. So, but anyways, uh, I'm heading home for this crap. It's birthday, I'm going home. <laughs> so uh, yeah, hopefully tomorrow or the next day we'll see um, how this new camera works once I get her everything all charged and figured out and get a card in it and figure out how I'm gonna read that card because I don't have a good card reader. I might just have to pop over to the computer guy and say, hey, can you take this piece of junk at all? Take another piece of junk and try it. Uh, it might have been just the card though because it did work the other day when I was doing something for Dylan on, um, on, on a card he had. It uh, seemed to work, so I, I don't know. I was, the camera before this had the bigger SD card and uh, it, uh, for some reason, stopped reading it, and I don't know why, maybe it was just the card. You put the thing in and nothing happened. So, but uh, who knows, we'll try it, see how she goes. But, uh, oh, I guess I'll head her home. <clears throat> nothing else to going on today. I had to dig, uh, oh, you guys will be able to kick it of this one. Got a call or text the other day from the funeral home there, and they're like, uh, yeah, we need a hole, two holes dug for tomorrow, Wednesday. And I'm like, okay. He's like, uh, how big's their grave? I'm like, well, it's only a small cremation grave for two cremated remains. Okay, can you can you can you dig one hole on the top and one hole on the bottom? I'm like, okay, it's two of them to go in. It's kind of weird. Normally, I just dig one big hole, we put them in, and be done with them. Apparently, these two didn't get along. Husband and wife, I guess, and um, they don't want to be buried like side by side, but they want dirt in between them. Okay, so I went out and dug two small little 10 inch holes, about six inches apart, kind of thing. So they've got dirt between them. <laughs> so that's what I had to do this afternoon. That was kind of interesting. I thought you guys might get a little kick out of that story. Kind of funny, so. But, <coughs> but anyways, I'm heading her home. Still fighting this cold a little bit. I still got the runs and the snorfels and whatever you call them things, you know, in there kind of stuff. Oh man kind of sucks so but uh, anyways uh, so yeah we'll try the new camera hopefully I never looked at sound settings I know this camera here we're on right now it had where is yeah 5.1 surround sound and I turned it off because some of you apparently didn't like the sound of it so I'm gonna have to look into this one too because I believe this one does that too and it's actually got um, 
you see that just okay so see the lens and then the zesis and then above there it's a 5.1 channel it's actually uh, uh, sound is on the top of the camera where the other one on this one is down below the Sony on the on the lens thing so it's a little bit different so uh, but uh, but we'll see how she works, I guess. So, anyways, thanks again for watching. Have a good day, and we'll catch you for the new camera next video.